you have to do your due diligence. You have to check in regularly on your money. Trust, but verify. Hi guys, I'm Keisha Bailey, wealth coach and CEO of Profit Jumpstarter. Hello. I share videos here on YouTube for persons who are looking to learn exactly what they need to do to build wealth. I provide financial educational videos. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and to hit the notification button as well to keep up to date on all the financial education that we share here on Profit Jumpstarter. Now, I remember when I started working in Canada as a portfolio manager and I had to be trained on the investment desk there to do the different international trades for the 250 clients that I had. Now, that's a lot for a little Jamaican girl. I was managing over a hundred billion dollars and it was very new to me because the types of investments that I was doing was very different from what I was used to doing back home in Jamaica and in the Caribbean. Now, my supervisor at the time would give me daily tasks to do. And whenever I complete the task, he would come and check my work. And after a while, you know, I got very annoyed. I said, oh, where the money I do? So one day I went to him and I said, I have years of experience. I just finished my MBA in finance with distinction. So why are you standing over my back and constantly watching what I do? No, his response was that it's not that I doubt your capabilities or that I doubt your experience, but I have to trust, but verify. I trust what you're doing, but I have to do my due diligence as well because I am training you and I have to verify what you are doing. Wow. Wow. Trust, but verify. Let me tell you, that is something that has stuck with me ever since. Even though you may trust a system, you may trust a process, you may trust your financial institutions, and you may trust your financial advisor, you still have to do your independent due diligence because at the end of the day, you are the one that is ultimately responsible for your money. Your money, your responsibility. Nothing is wrong with trusting the system. There are financial institutions and financial advisors out there whose number one priority is to help you to grow your money and secure it in the best way that's possible. However, you have to always verify for yourself all the time. Verify all the time. Trust, but verify. I often encourage my clients to be active advocates for their money and to make sure that they are accountable on their wealth journey because I hold them accountable to take the necessary precautionary measures with anything that involves their personal finance because this can help them to avoid getting into those unfortunate circumstances that we're reading about in the news. But taking the time to do extensive research on your institution and do research on the person that you want to do business with, regardless of your personal history, if you say, I don't know anything, you still have to do your due diligence so that you can spot these red flags early. Ask the questions. Look at the available financial information out there and all of the media reports. Comb through everything. Also, monitor your transactions to ensure that your money is doing what it's supposed to do. Because money left unattended is an easy, easy target and we don't want that. Trust but verify doesn't mean that you walk around now with a mindset that, you know, everybody's a thief and everybody's a crook, everybody's a scammer. That's not what we want. What trust but verify means is that you should always verify everything before getting into common business with anyone. Even if they seem completely trustworthy, trust but verify. Stay alert. That's the name of the game. So while a fiduciary relationship is expected to result in financial business with various institutions, doing what is necessary to ensure that your money is protected and is being handled as directed rests on your shoulders, your shoulders, your money, your responsibility. Did my story resonate with you? 
did you know to the importance of trust but verify drop in the comments and let me know